All right, Holly Holmes, UFC yes. fighter, said some things in the ring after a victory. I wanted to get your guys' reaction on this. Here. Yeah, let's let's play this clip. So it's not my part, and I feel like I have the platform to say it. I need to say it. I just feel it's really sad on the sexualization of our children right now, and we need to protect them, whatever that may be. Like protect the children, please. Do anything we can to help. Man. Yeah. Number awesome. one, kudos to to Holly Holm. Now we give people hell about not speaking up about what they really think because they're afraid of what's going to happen with with their sponsors and with with social media and society. I want to make sure we give credit when people do. Uh, and to me, it's it's so sad that the saddest part of this is we've gotten to a point now where this has to be explained. Mm -hmm. This has to be said. Um, I don't care if it's a strip club. I don't care if it's a drag show. Sexualizing children is disgusting. And there's a word for that. They're called pedophiles. And if you're somebody that sexualizes children, in my opinion, you fit that category. How about this? How about we let kids be kids? How about you people out there that are trying to influence the sexualization of children? Just stop it and stay away from kids. At some point, um, we're, we're having to scream common sense into the air, and it's really disgusting, and I feel like there's only a couple ways to handle it. Yeah, honestly. well, I'll tell you why I appreciated her stepping up and saying this. One, when it comes to our children, that's a line in the sand that I think most people have Yeah, you want to talk about getting hands put on that you? That is beyond politics. Yeah. That's beyond culture. That, you know, speaking up for the kids, it's 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 so easy to do. It's a home run and it's something that's important, right? And the second thing, the way she went about it, she didn't claim to be an expert at anything. Mm -hmm. That's something that frustrates me a lot with some athletes like, say, a LeBron James or things like that. It's not that you're using your voice. You and I have talked about this shut up and dribble crowd for a I hate time. that. We're never, we are not in the shut up and dribble crowd. If we were in that, we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing that's now exactly because right. we would just be seen as former athletes who can't talk about these sort of issues. Everyone has an, everyone has an opinion and some of those opinions can be valuable. I want to hear what everyone has to say. The janitor here at this place may have the best idea for our sports show. He may have one thing that helps us, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to hear that idea. She didn't claim to be an expert on anything, right? She just came in and said, look, the sexualization of our children is a bad thing. I think we need to, you know, examine this. That's why I appreciated the way well, she went about it. Well, message. one, good for her to come out and say this. And one, not worried about sponsorships or money. And, and three, good for Dana White, because she's going to get pushed back from this. But there's anybody who can handle this, who knows how to run an organization, who stands behind his fighters, that's going to be Dana White. So good for her. We need more of this across uh, on all levels, on all levels. It doesn't matter when it comes to sponsorship money. At the end of the day, it's not about money. It's about people and it's about kids. Right? And it's about protecting them. So good for her, and she's a hell of a fighter too. Yeah, I just, again, it's just absolutely mind-blowing to me that, that people will push back against saying don't sexualize the kids. I don't care if you're gay, straight, in between, or whatever. Yeah. Hey, YouTube, do us a favor real quick. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and do it. Turn that notification bell on and like the videos if you watch them. We really appreciate it.